I'm John, I work for Laser Performance. Uh, we're here at SWAC, uh, a lovely day for some sailing. I'm here with Sam Whaley from the British Sailing Team uh, and we're going to go through some top tips uh, on setting up your laser um, pre-season. So Sam, we'll start at the back, we'll go forwards. Um, top tips for, I've just come back to the club after winter, yep. things have been untied by people, no doubt lifting my cover. I want to make sure everything's in place before I go sailing. Um, where do we start? One of the most important things is make sure your rudder actually stays down. So in this example here, we can see, although it's tied down, it still moves, and this is very bad. So you want to make sure that you either replace this rope or make a system so with the cleats you can really pull it on tight and make sure it does not come up at all while sailing. Can uh, I put a purchase system in here? Am yes. I allowed to do that? Yeah, you're allowed to put a purchase system, so you're allowed to tie like slip knot in the rope. So uh, we could do something like that now, so you just sort of uh, tie it like that and then you could loop it around here and really get it tight and then back through itself here and then you could really like jam it on and pull it in the cleat and now make sure it'll just stay completely down all the time while sailing Perfect. then moving on we need to make sure the traveler blocks put a lot of tape around here so they don't move as they, so they move as little as possible um, this is because else they can get twisted and jam while sailing, and obviously that's not good. Some of the newer boats come with a solid block there. Is that, oh, they need to take those now, don't yeah, they? Yeah, no, the you, if you have the black blocks, you don't need to take them, they're really good already. So you can just leave them be. Excellent. I'm always unsure of how tight to have my traveller. Um, some people crank it on really tight, yeah. some people have it quite loose. Uh, and I've seen different ways of tying it at the back here. You've tied it in this style here, is this how it, recommend? Uh, yeah, so the, the Traveller should be in very light winds like we have today. You should have the Traveller as tight as possible. Really. But, um, the blocks, you always, when you're sailing the blocks, you always want the blocks to be in the corner here, like yeah. so. If they're ever rising up into the middle like that, then you need to pull more Traveller on. So one of the best methods is to really get uh, the rope tight before you put the tiller under uh, the okay. Traveller. And so the closer you have this knot here, so that the, so the smaller the triangle is such, the more purchase you get. So if you put this knot as close to this rope as possible, yeah. that'll make really it a lot easier. I find quite often my toe strap slips whilst I'm sailing. Yeah. Is there a way that you can show us to thread the rope in to give it enough friction to hold it in place? Yeah, so uh, your toe strap adjustment is a key part of laser sailing. You really want to feel like you're locked into the boat um, and it's easily adjustable. So wherever you go around the course, uh, it doesn't slip. So the best way I do it is uh, you effectively create a three to one purchase. So you tie a small bowl in here on this side like this, then thread it through a toe strap as normal. And then you tie a small slip knot just here like so. Then what you do is you loop it through the eye facing the other side of the boat, come back through the slip knot like so, pull it tight. Then you take it back through the eye facing to the starboard side of the boat. Once you've done this, you then thread it underneath the bowling, like so, and then through the other eye, like this. And now if you pull it on, you literally should be able to pull that toe strap wow. really tight. And you can literally just pull it on, and that will not come undone. Not. So that keeps it nice and tight, and then when I head off downwind, I want to loosen the strap off, is it just yeah. in case of pulling the rope back through? Yeah, so all you do is simply put your finger under here, pull up, and it loosens off immediately. Okay, so we've moved forward now. Um, we're gonna look at some of the sail controls. Um, this one's obviously been fitted with a race spec kit. Um, what options do I have, for example, on the, the Vang system? Uh, yeah, so you've got two options for on the Vang system on your race kit. You've either got this option, which is a 12 to one system. So uh, quite powerful um, and it simply involves, as you can see, many turns around the block. You've also got an even more powerful 16 to 1 kicker version, which uh, really allows fine tuning adjustments and it's quite easy to adjust while sailing. So this, this is kind of good enough for your average club sailor? Yes. Uh, and then someone like yourself obviously wants all the bells and whistles, so you go yeah. for the, the high power option. Yeah. Um, and then the downhaul and Cunningham controls, again these are fairly universal are they? Uh, yes, yeah, so they're all the same. This is the XD uh, fitting on the bottom here and you can uh, effectively you can rig it how you want up to a certain purchase so it's eight to one on the uh, downhaul and uh, eight to one on the outhaul as well so you can rig it how you want but what i would re definitely recommend is that all these lines 
at your max off position are right at the cleat because you don't want extra rope in the boat and um, some more things get tangled. So yeah, one thing I'm unsure of uh, how normally how tight to do it is the clue strap. Um, obviously this is quite loose on here. Um, how tight do you recommend in kind of strong winds and light winds? Uh, well, you, you always really want the corner of the sail to be as close to the boom as possible. Okay. Right so down. right down there, yeah. In light winds, you might want to loosen off ever so slightly just to allow the clue strap to slide easily along the boom. But I would recommend at all, all times having it as close there as possible. One thing, whilst we're at the back of the boat, uh, or the back of the boom, one thing I struggle with from time to time is jiving. Uh, and the inevitable problem of the main sheet getting stuck on the back of the boat. Yeah. Is there anything that you can advise on technique for stopping the, the classic mistake from happening? So the easiest way to avoid the main sheet getting stuck on the transom when you jive is to really, as you're going through the jive, so you're bearing away uh, with your tiller, and then just do a few armfuls of sheet, and then as the boom starts to cross the boat, you give one big like flick almost, and that will sheet the main sheet really rapidly, and flick it up and stop it from uh, catching around the back. Yeah. Size way. 